Pagpagpun po sa inyong lahat. Ito na naman po ang babaeng dragon, Marco Dragonesa, para sa DZME 1530-1530 sa kanan. Ang himpilang may paninindigan. And welcome po sa ating show. We are live here in Goa, India, para sa Shabu Wishlist. want to uh, listen, we are live also sa radyo, sa DZME, sa 1530-1530. And welcome, welcome, welcome again sa ating show. And reminding you, we are live on Facebook and also we are live sa atin sa radyo, sa AM Radio sa Pilipinas. Syempre, dun sa laging pasweldo ang time. Sa 15.30 o 15.30. Una sa kanan, ang himpilang may pananindigan. At ready na kayo? Tawagin nyo na ang inyong mga kapit bahay ang inyong friends dahil nandito na at nangungulit ang babaeng dragon Marco Dragonesa para sa travel wish list woohoo at syempre pa ready tayo lagi kung tayo ay uh, nagda-drive sa atin if we are driving we have to speak in English and syempre uh, give me some hearts if you can see us live I am still in India, in Goa, India, and we have a special uh, friend that uh, we are, where are we staying right now? Ayan. Hello, Tikboy Kirin si Trenta, at sa lahat po ng mga nakikinig at nanonood, umpisa natin ang ating show. We're gonna start off with our show with my, my favorite. Yes, I am, I did not change my religion, so don't worry, it's okay, but I am yoga now. Yes, but before I introduce you to my uh, guest uh, today, ayan. Hello, kamusta na, mother? Yan, si Sit Chang. Sino ba to? Si Abby. Hello, Abby. Kamusta ka na dyan? Sa lahat po nang nagda-drive, for all of you who are driving, you don't have to close your eyes because you're listening to our radio station. And syempre, um, for those of you who are watching live sa atin sa Facebook, and you can also watch us live on our, uh, uh, saan ba tayo? Sa YouTube, live din tayo dyan. Hi, ma! Hello, Lita Hugo. Kamusta ka na? That's my mother. <laughs> yes, okay. So, we are going to start off um, our show. Siyempre, medyo nakakalimutan na natin how to uh, thank God and thank the universe. Sa lahat po ng mga nakikinig at nanonood, you can just close your eyes or just join me. And please, uh, we are ready now. Pwedeng pwede na po kayong makinig at manood. To all of my OFWs, alhamdulillah, syukran. Uh, to our uh, Japanese friends, Domo Arigato Gasai Mashta. Thank you very much. And please, it's ready na. Ayan. Pero all of you who wants to join us, please close your eyes and put ourselves to the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po sa another episode of Travel Wishlist. Lord, thank you very much po sa lahat ng mga blessing na binibigay niyo sa amin. And to all of our friends and our viewers who joins us every time with uh, happiness, Lord, Please uh, always bless them and to all of you, Lord, uh, sa lahat po nang nakikinig, to all of the people who listens and watch this show sa DCME, sa Travel Wishlist, bless their hearts, Lord. Give them all the blessing, give them all the happiness uh, the, the world will give them, Lord. Thank you, thank you very much again, Lord. God bless all the ones who are watching, Lord. Thank you very much again. We praise you, Lord. Sa ngala ng Yanak Jesus. Amen. You see? Hello, Nak. I'm proud of you. Thank you very much, Ma. And I would like to take this opportunity, syempre, uh, to thank uh, Yoga Vimoksha. Yeah, that is the name of the school here in Goa, India. I am a legit yoga. You have to clap for me. <laughs> I haven't introduced him yet. So, because I am a yoga now, I am ready to teach the Philippines my gift. Yeah. Thank you very much, Yoga Vimoksha, and thank you very much to all of my uh, master, our uh, yogi masters, the greatest masters. Uh, yeah, now we have uh, Yogi uh, Arbin, thank you very much. Namaste, Yogi uh, Sachin, what's up, man, nigga? <laughs> thank you very much, malaming salamat. And I am so happy. Now, okay, so syempre, moving on with the show. Again, I want to remind you that you are listening and watching live for here in Goa, India. 
Dito lang po yan sa DZME 1530-1530 sa kanan. Ang himpilang may paninindigan. Binabati ko si Sheila Gores. How are you, Sheila Gores? Thank you very much for watching and listening. And now, okay, so moving forward, and I will introduce you to this handsome man, Max. He is uh, a very, very good uh, friend of ours here in, uh, in Goa. Thank you very much, Sheila. And I would like to say hi to Sherwin Marco V. At meron kang top fan award. O, diba? Wala ka na bang balak bumalik, ma'am? Actually, I don't wanna go back. <laughs> but, you know, we have work and I love you. You know, I love you guys. Yan. Okay, since I am going to introduce to you my guest today, I will have to give him, yan, my flower. This is actually pure marigold. It smells so good. Ang ganda ganda ng flowers dito. Ladies and gentlemen, um, he is the owner of uh, this beautiful place as you can see. His name is Mr. Brian Fernandez. Ayan. Then I'm going to give you this. Hello, Thank hello, you. Thank welcome, you. welcome, Thank welcome. You, welcome you, to Michelle. your place. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank welcome you. to your coastal. <laughs> All right, I just want to give you a background before you say hi to them. Sure. Uh, Brian Fernandez is an Goan Indian because here in Goa, we are going to talk about how do they have a Spanish and a Portugal, Portuguese name. Okay, and this is uh, the place we call Coastal Suites. And ladies and gentlemen, again, please say hi to our, tele uh, our viewers and listeners on the radio, Brian Fernandez. Yay! Hi, Philippines. Hi. hi, Philippines. Hi. <laughs> hello, Philippines. How do you say uh, hello to uh, uh, Indian, Hindi? Because there's a lot of Hindi people also watching us. Uh, I, I don't know Hindi, but I'll say hi in English. It's hi in English. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say hi to uh, Sherwin Markowi, uh, Sheila Gores, Alicia Ballesteros. Bundi, he's saying this, she is saying this to you. Uh, she is from uh, Saudi. Okay. Uh, Bundi Gurunam Karani Vende Sandrista Swatma Sukabode. I have no idea what I said, but hello. Kamusta na si Boyet Asusena? Nice place. I will stay there. Yes, ma. I will let you stay here because she will study uh, Ayurveda. Nice. I already am talking nice. to him. <laughs> nice. And again, give us a background of uh, Coastal Suites. This is the name of our place where we stay, Coastal Suites. All right. Hi, Philippines. So let me talk about Coastal Suites. So yes. This Coastal Suites is located very close to Benaulim mm -hmm. and Sernabatim Beach. It's Sernabatim. just Sernabatim and Kolva. Kolva is a world famous beach and everybody knows Kolva. Yes. So this place, we can actually walk to the beach. It's about five minutes from the beach. Yes. Yeah. And True. Yes. And, now, and what I have made over here is something which is, yes, something which is not a hotel, nor is it just an apartment by yourself. Yes. So you have, you have hotel services in an apartment it's very nice it, yes. it's really uh, this this is where i have been staying and it, it actually me going to india or anywhere in the place of the world i i always uh, don't expect so much but these i swear exceeded my expectation thank beyond you thank beauty. you so much and um actually our friend here brian is so Personally, you know, um, it's rare to actually be talking to the actual owner, like from the Wi-Fi. We have our cooking utensils. We yes. are students, and we we don't yeah. feel away from home. We are home. Yes. So that was the concept. You know, ah. I wanted to have home away Very from nice. home. Very so nice. in your apartment, you have everything you would have in at in home. Yeah. Yeah. So you have your living room. Yes. You have a little kitchenette. So you Very have your good. washing machine and you have a microwave. Oh, we have a washing machine. Yes, you have a Where? washing machine. Most, some of the rooms <laughs> have a common washing machine. <laughs> okay, okay. But uh, the apartments, the, yes. all the apartments have their so own washing machine. So this is not just a hotel. It, it's, it feels like I'm in a hotel. But I feel like I'm at home, yes. so it's more of a apartment suite. Yes, it's more of a apartment suite. So in, in the Philippines, we call it condominium, actually. Yes, that's that's the concept. But this so. is bigger. Yeah, yes, this, so is, really this is bigger big. because in Goa we have a lot of space, you know, so much yeah, space, so and we much space and we air can afford to build an air, air, and yeah, so much of green, and there's so much to do. Yes. So we're not running out of space anywhere. Yes. So there's the space in your room, and there's the yes. space in your apartment. And all the people that work here are very... That's what I like about Goa, India. It's a... It, you feel that you're a tourist, yes, but you feel you're at home. There's no judgment here. There's no... 
Anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. of course there is politics in Goa because yeah, we have true. stayed, but it's free and easy. It's yes. nice. It's relaxed. You can go to the beach and laze around. Yes. Nobody will look at you. Nobody yes. will disturb you. So yes, you can and be they so are free. they are always happy to see you. It's like they're you're always welcome. I feel like I'm in the Philippines, yes. but you know yes. I can't say you know. But both is really high. I would just take. I want to take this opportunity to say hi to Boyet Asusena. He said they said hi. hi Alhamdulillah. J Mel Chor Cheng Zamorano. Domarigatugusaymasha. Thank you very much, Louis Gomez. Uh, we also have friends from Athens. There you go. And Lorraine Pereira. Hello, my Lula. I love you, baby girl. I know you're watching. But right, so tell me about your name. Why is your name so Spanish? His name it's, is Brian. Yes, it's not Spanish. It's Portuguese. It's Portuguese. Okay, okay. My, my name is Brian Proto das Angustias Fernandes. It is okay, can we Portuguese just do the name. Fernandes? <laughs> just I cannot okay. pronounce the so other So there's Brian Proto das Angustias Fernandes. That's my name. Wow. So, so tell so, me about the, the history of your yeah, name. So where this comes from is... You must be knowing that Goa was a Portuguese colony yes, it for was a Portuguese. four decades, you know? Wow. Yes. And so how did India got to... Yes, yeah, so in 1961... Listen to this, guys, huh? 1961. Yes, 1961. Yes. 19 December 1961. That oh, was wow. the day uh, the, the Indians attacked Portuguese because the, in, the rest of the India was already India. Ah. It, was just Port, it was just Goa under yes, the yes. Portuguese. That's right. So the, the Indians attacked the Portuguese and they had to leave and the colony, the Portuguese colony then became India on 19 December That's 1961. That's why actually when I, when I look around, they have, uh, they have uh, Indian, like Bombay Indian with a touch of like Spanish exotic. Yeah. They have really, really nice skin and really like looking good. With the eyes, the eyes of the Goan people are mesmerizing. When you look at them, they're, you're like, uh, oh, okay. they, yeah, thank and you, it's really thank good. You. And um, some people are uh, also wondering, if you're in India, are you automatic Hindu? Are you Hindu? No, if you're in India, you're not, you're not, not really. automatic. You have, in, India is a secular country, you know. Uh, we have okay. we have Hindus, we have Muslims. Mm -hmm. I'm a Roman Catholic. And, you're Roman Catholic. Yes, so Roman guys, he's Catholic. Catholic. Yes. Because it's just because of the yoga and the Hindu uh, yes. things. But it doesn't mean like me, I'm a yogan. I teach uh, yoga. It doesn't mean that I have to change. I still believe in Jesus Christ. I, I still read the Bible and I pray with my God. Here, uh, they have so much God. Like different gods, they different have gods, Bujang, yes. like yes. the Cobra God, they have yes. Shiva, they have Buddha, they have Allah. So guys, it's not... Hello Miss Anjali B. Anjali B is one of our doctors in Yoga Vimoksha. I love you guys in Yoga Vimoksha. I will have my free massage there tomorrow, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to say hi to um, El Olaito. Kamusta ka na dyan? Thank you very much. I'll give you free yoga for the children. I love giving you. A yoga experience That's for the nice. children That's because nice. I really think that we really have to put uh, attention, give them more attention. You know, because us um, mature people, we're so busy working, we're so busy giving them the things that they want, but we neglect the time giving them. So I would want to give my uh, gift of yoga for most of the children, the toddlers and the kids, because. They will be the future. That's so nice. It's it's like giving back. You know, yes. that's the new trend coming. Yes. Giving back. To, Pay it to, forward. You know, yes. I will give you something, but I will not expect from you. But someone will give it to you better. So you know, it's a lot better this way. Because uh, hi, Tal. Hello. How are you? Uh, I would like to say hi to Janelyn Loreto Miranda. Uh, stay tuned there, guys. I'll be back in October. I'll give you also. Yes, Hapa! Everyone's like, please, please, we are starving. And I'm actually, I'm um, the only Filipina that studied here in the Moksha. As I've been asking, but there oh. is also uh, uh, mostly Ayurveda. But now it's yoga, because it also works well, the Ayurveda. You cannot use just the food if okay. there's no yoga. And That's then you nice. cannot use yoga without Ayurveda. And the good thing here is Coastal Suites are really, really supporting us students. So if you guys are interested, mm -hmm. I will tell you that you have to stay here. <laughs> I'll tell you. Thank you. I'm already telling so you, you should, this is, I've been like uh, going around the whole place in uh, Goa, India, 
from the airport of Goa to Kowa. I've never been to Margao, but I'm gonna go there. You and must, I checked you must all go the there. places. Mar Margao is like a, like another spice market, you yes. know. You get so many local things Ooh, like local cheese. Like about and a, what about this? I'm actually looking for this. This is a copper bottle. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, it, it might you might or might not get it there. But Margao is but more about local markets, like local ah. fish, local chilies. <gasps> There and you go. You know, Are we allowed to bring like it there? It's like a normal market where oh, people well, I sell love things. Markets. Yeah. I am so into markets. So guys, uh, watch my YouTube channel. But um, I'll also give you mga uh, clippings that I went to because I will still go to. I just finished my classes. So for three weeks, I have nothing except for Coastal Sweet and Bimoksha. Coastal Sweet, Bimoksha. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but they, we are really, really, um, in behalf of my co-students, we are thanking you very much. Thank for, you. It was uh, a pleasure. It was us. a pleasure to host you. All. You know, thank it's you, so nice. You. Yeah. And it feels like you're not away from home because everything you need, and you're always 24 hours uh, being uh, watched, and you can really sleep well, and uh, you can just swim. And uh, Janelyn Doreto, excited na ako mag yoga. Yes, I will give you yoga. Don't worry. It's free. It's from my heart. It's from the bottom of my heart. I am the uh, the broadcaster yogini. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> nice. the yogini word. It's just a word that was used as a, an American. Yes, American, I wanted to know very more Western. about it. Yeah. yeah, but the real word for me as a woman, as a female counterpart of yogi, is actually yogan, okay. but with a spelling of J. But you don't say it's a jogan. You say okay. it as yogan. Yogan. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And uh, when we were talking about the uh, Portuguese, uh, our friend here, Brian, was telling us about his, her, his grandmother. Yes. Please tell, uh, share about yeah, that. So, so we were talking about Goa being the yeah. Portuguese colony for about four decades. Mm -hmm. And in 1961, as I told you earlier, 19 December, it was taken away. It was taken by the Indians and it became. But you know, there were lots of people in Goa who... Speak. Goa is south of India. Yes, it's almost, near Saudi. Uh, almost the south, southwest. 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 Yeah. But it's near Saudi because we have, the, we are actually facing Arabian Sea. Yes, yes. that's on the other side. Ah, so yes, yeah. Okay, it's okay. a long way though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't swim across. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So I was telling you about the Portuguese background. So we have a lot of Port Portuguese background because Portuguese were here for such a long time and. Yes. Many, many people in Goa speak Portuguese, including my grandmother. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. That's she, very interesting. Yes, she used to only speak Portuguese. Only, only Portuguese. Only Portuguese. Do you know how to speak Portuguese? Yes, I do. Would you I say do. hi to the Philippines about Portuguese and invite them to come to coastal streets? Ah, in see, Portuguese. You posso falar um pouco de português e eu estou a convidar a todos para vir para Goa e ficar aqui em coastal streets. Yeah. Obrigado, obrigado por isso. Obrigado, thank you. Ah, obrigado, thank you. It sounds like Italian in Spanish in one, no? Yes, yes it's, it's, it's Spanish, have, more Spanish. It's very close to, to Spanish. Yes, I have been to Portugal just last year. Yes. A very close friend of mine, uh, George Coutinho, he got Hello, married. George Coutinho, how are you? Watch this. <laughs> George Coutinho got married in Portugal in, uh, yeah, in, in Portimao, in a place called Portimao in Portugal. Yes, yes. So, Your wife is Portuguese too. Uh, no, she's not. She's gone. She's, she's going. Yeah. She looks so American. <laughs> I was looking at her and your babies. They look American. Yeah. I think it's the Ayurveda. It's the food. It's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just maybe. But yeah. Yeah. We were studying Ayurveda. That it's actually um, what consists. It's like you can have an Indian parent, Indian or Filipino, Filipino, but you live in the other place. Mm -hmm. The baby, your yeah. child will be looking different. Yeah, it's the food, happens. it's the weather, it's it's the it's the combination of everything, yes, which yes. is Ayurveda. Yeah, 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 I'm sure, I'm sure it plays a part. His children and his wife like look so American, <laughs> look so American. <laughs> yeah, she 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 dreams of going to America. I don't ah, know why, way. but this is my destination. Uh, I love. But it's place. okay. Maybe someday you can, guys. Uh, you can yeah. uh, visit. Maybe not now yet because yes. of uh, situation. <laughs> <laughs> It's hi, anak! Ariana Ledesma, I miss you. We will do yoga, anak. I'd like to say hi to Amiel Basco. Maraming salamat for... Uh, Amiel Basco is my uh, IT expert. I would like to thank uh, you guys for always supporting me back there in the Philippines. They're always there in the studio doing nice. things. Because every time I have a show, they're going to be like, Oh my God! <laughs> it's the Dragonessa! <laughs> it's actually that. And I'd like to say hi to my... Uh, to my favorite master, Yogi Sachin Panwar, if you want to do a drop yoga, 
he also they also have that so we are gonna so try drop yoga drop yoga, yoga drop is yoga. uh uh, they will uh, either you go to a shala or a studio okay. or here I will try okay. maybe tomorrow we will see okay. we will try to do yoga here All right. uh, you've seen me doing yoga upstairs yes, but I've it's seen different you in the balcony, yeah. yeah but it's different when you are, are actually it's you know doing it with someone uh -huh. okay. which is really bringing you up it's a it's a unity it's an exercise it's just yeah. something that you really need to do and it's very healthy and the hatha one is the one so that I like. So what's the difference between the drop hatha, yoga Okay, and, drop yoga yeah. is a yoga that uh, will you will have a yogi okay. or a yogan right. that will be helping you. But it's more of a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, okay. So it's okay. a one-on-one. -on -one and it depends with the yogan or the yo yogi okay. if they will charge you. Okay. Yeah, so for example, uh, drop yoga like this. Is this right? Please correct me. Uh, yogi Sachin. Please tell me something about drop yoga because I'm also explaining and helping people on how to do yoga because you don't really, sometimes, if you don't really know okay. what's going to happen to you in a yoga class, what will happen to you, you will be so ashamed of doing those things because you feel like I can't do that. So, but the point is yoga is for everyone and yoga is really not just for people who are flexible. That's the point of doing yoga. And oh, okay. number one, Number two is stress. It relieves, is it? Relieves stress and, and reverses your age because it will align you. So with drop yoga, the good thing with drop yoga is uh, there will be a yogan or a yogi okay. that will help you really specifically concentrate on you for that one and a half hours. So nice. that is so spoiling. Yeah, that's that's nice. Let's like really one nice. on one. Yes, course of it's yoga. drop yoga is one on one. So right now I will be doing drop yoga because the rest of my school days are are okay. I'm done. I'm I'm a yoga. But the point is, I still want to do drop yogas and you know check on my other classes on how to give my children, my classes, my students on how to do yoga because we have different things and my priority are children and okay. old people. Oh, that's nice. Only because I'm not gonna go to uh, the ones that really wants to do acrobats and everything because uh, they ha you can have that. Uh -huh. so I would want to help people like stress people, like you know, rich people. <laughs> but they will not. I will not ask money from them. You know why? Because I they pay it forward. I think these people are us. This serves a lot better more than material things, more than money, more than food, more than tangible things. This is something for you. Yoga is you. Yoga is not me. And yoga shouldn't change you. I came here to change myself. Really. It's like, okay, I'm gonna go to, to yoga vimoksha. I will uh, be a yogin and then I will change myself. You can't change yourself because you're already you. Okay. What you can do is accept yourself and have your control. Okay. That's the best thing. So you, you, it's like you're saying you regain your own control. Yes, because that's the yourself. only problem we have. We cannot control the world. Everything that will happen, you know, we will light this up. We will fix this one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. And then we get stressed because we ex expect so much with these people, this world. When the problem really is us, you. When you can control your mind, okay. not overreacting about things, then you don't have a problem. So that's yoga. Ah, ah okay. yes. You, have you ever tried you yoga? Of, no, I haven't ever tried yoga. All those, there's so many yoga people around ah, here. I, I invite I think you, it's, of yeah, I think because it's time it's, enough. They think, uh, you know, yoga is very, oh, it's this. It's like so, it's so very exercise. No, it's not. Yoga, but I advise you to do hatha. Hatha okay. is a slower pace, okay. which really gives you attention and concentration to yourself. Okay. Because I cannot help you if you will be lazy. Even if I tell you to do the same exact thing, but you're not going to do it because you don't want to do it. It's just because you want to do the asta, the dasana, la 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 la. But you're really going to do it and you perfect it because of you want it. Once you do it and you see yourself doing that and slowly doing it and then after like one, two, three, four times, you see yourself being flexible, you will really love yourself and take care of yourself. Because we also do, um, we follow a tamma, uh, like a sattvic, you're familiar with it? Sattvic way, rajastic way. We no, have, I don't know. Sattvic sounds something like seven, something like that. No, no, sattvic is a, a good thing that you follow. These okay. are the good stuff, good food, 
Raja stick is just the middle food. Okay. And then um, <laughs> the tamasic is the toxic one. So if you're always smoking, cigarettes, uh, alcohol, uh, everything that is bad for your body, and mm -hmm. you keep on doing that, that you will have a hard time doing yoga. Because if you don't sleep properly, how can you do yoga? So how, if you don't sleep properly, how can you think with your job? That's right. Yeah. So if you drink, keep on drinking alcohol, like doing cigarettes or drugs or what have you, all the things that is tamasic, okay. which is the bad thing. Okay. And you don't really have proper breakfast, proper sleep, enough everything. Even if you don't do yoga, you just live your life. Mm -hmm. You're still going to be like so upset, so stressed with every little, little things. Yeah. Even with your children, with your parents, with your family, anything. They just do this. You're just upset. Right? That's right. That's yeah. right yeah. So it's very relaxing um, on how we also, you know, this place, uh, this coastal uh, suites are really, really... Um, I advise people to come here because even at night they let us swim. We are so happy. <laughs> because sometimes if you don't you do exercise at night and then you go to your room, you feel uneasy. But like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Because I don't want to be in the internet every time talking to a lot of people because it's going to give me headache. Mm -hmm. So the good thing is like, you know, you just go jump in the pool and just do laps. And then you're gonna be like, oh yeah, and then shower with hot water. Yes, they have hot water here. Oh, there you go, my my uh, my my teacher, my master, Yogi Satchin Panwar is our headmaster. Okay. And he was here. He was. Uh, we introduced you with oh, the Malenko. Yes, oh, Malenko. he's our headmaster. Yes, uh, he said, drop yoga is for all the people that have no time for regular classes, and they can come for a class. So they will go to you. Oh, okay. So which is good because some of the people doesn't really want to go there like women or people like uh, no I'm so ashamed of my body because I'm like this I'm like that. They will help you build confidence and then you, when you can finally join a class yeah. then you can go yalla yeah. So I will try it here. You will okay. see it. I will yeah. try to video it to give them an understanding of what a drop yoga is. Oh okay. yeah. And then uh, it's like daily yoga class and then anybody can join just in case you have a uh, drop yoga here. If you want you, your children, your wife to do a drop yoga, you can do that exclusively only for you. Oh, okay. And you only get, like, how so spoiled can you be? <laughs> so, 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 let me request you one thing. Before you go, can we have one drop yoga? Yes, yoga? I would That's love fantastic. that. It would be with your children, please. Sure, I sure, would love sure. uh, seeing them and it will be the greatest pleasure that I will uh, sure, give you. Sure, yeah. sure. So just schedule me and I will give you. So again, yes. um, at your, your convenience. We yes, will come no, at your we, convenience. I will go to you. Okay, yeah. Fine. So that That's will be you. good. And then, but um, if you do that, you have to get a mat <laughs> because you will do it. <laughs> okay, let me tell you a little secret. Let me tell yeah. you a little secret. You have here. mats. I have so many. <laughs> <laughs> you have so many. So many from all the yoga students. Good job. <laughs> then we, you can just leave it there. You yeah. know, we can also ask. I will uh, talk to uh, Sachin. Uh, Master Sachin says it's like daily yoga class. Anybody can join the class. It's up to you and the person on how you want to do it regularly or or alternatively. Some people they want to do it uh, on alternative days, like today and then tomorrow stop and then today to tomorrow stop. Those are for the people that are like you know has back pain. Because yeah. we also do drop yoga for we call it yoga therapy. All right. For example, you have a high blood pressure. For mm -hmm. example, you have a low blood pressure. Or you have diabetes okay. because there are certain asanas or postures that you will be doing that is not good for high blood pressure, not good for this. So we really have to do like what you have and this is oh, it. It's like, and yeah, it's like you have to do a pre-study. Yes, method. of course, definitely. Yeah. It's very tailor fit for you. So that's okay. the good thing about drop yoga. And that is what we are uh, trying to help with other people's understanding and again guys philippines i did not change my religion it's like the, oh she has a bindi now she's hindu maybe she's gonna marry no i'm not marrying anyone i'm not hindu it's but the, the okay. okay it's just the process on what we use is actually sanskrit it's a sanskrit word so every time instead of saying uh praying position in english that's what we say it sounds so good when you say pranamasana it's like, you know, it's, it's a little different. It has so much command and holiness. And for us to process to be like this, 
we really have to go through a hard process and like uh, you're like really twisting all the bad stuff in you and then just drying you off into a crisp clean person because you cannot give uh, wisdom and energy to other people if you yourself is so you know, not yeah. there. Yes, yes. So going back to Coastal, guys, I want to uh, remind you that you're listening and watching live po tayo ngayon sa Travel Wishlist sa DZME 1530-1530. Una sa kanan, ang himpilang may panindigan ko. Yung po ay nakikinig sa babaeng dragon. Marga Dragonesa para sa Travel Wishlist. Ah, hindi siya nagsaglay ng music. Woo! I want to say hi to Nene Chavez Trinidad. Thank you very much. Ready ka na ba, Nene Chavez Trinidad? You guys have mats, Jan. You promised me that you have mats. Great, great, great. That would be awesome. Because it will be hard for me to teach if you go, don't have a mat. Yeah, we do. We uh, have mats. Yeah. So all of your children now, starting now, and then I'll also hook you up with our friendly uh, yogis. I'm not sure about the yogas now, because usually we are just very few. Okay. Yogans are very few, you so, know. So how many people can actually do the yoga, the yoga at a time? The yoga at a time, as long as you can accommodate them. Probably here that I can see, you can do 13, 15 here with one yogi okay. or one yoga. Yogi uh, is a guy, yogan or yogini, but okay. I call myself yogan, it's very highly. Okay. <laughs> yogini, I'm like, yes, I'm a yogini, so it's so cute. Okay. I'm a mature one, so I'm yogan. <laughs> so you can do that, and it's also good as your one of your uh, offer your facility since you help us very much i would be also hooking up with my uh with my yogis and introduce them to you just in case sure. and that and you will really enjoy it yourself and your ch your children yeah. and it's um, going to be the first time i'm even going to try yoga. good good yeah? good, so good. I'm looking for you for i will give you harta for free yeah. with your family as long as you have math why because i want you to continue it Okay, sure. Because if I just tell you, oh, bring a towel, I'm pretty sure the next time, it's like, oh, I tried yoga, that's it. No, it has to be something that will be taught and uh, be cherished. Yeah. Okay, guys, you're listening and watching sa DZME 1530-1530. Una sa kanan, ang himpilang may paninindigan. I am with uh, the owner of Coastal Suites, Brian Fernandez. Yes, he's going. <laughs> and also Portuguese. So how many countries do you have in that body? Oh, just two, two. Just two countries. Two. <laughs> I actually have a lot, including Dalmatian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but but I need to tell you a little bit about this since you spoke yes, about yes, Portuguese. Yes, 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 please, please. You know, um, after the Portuguese left, a lot of Goan people now mm. are have changed the nationality to Portuguese. Really? Yes. So there's a lot of Portuguese. Yes. Portuguese because, people because, here. Because we have. There is a little rule that was uh, given. given by the Portuguese and they said that anybody who was here mm. after 19, ah. during the 1961... You're allowed you, to be Portuguese. Yeah, you can Ooh. choose to be the Portuguese or you can choose to be Indian. Of course, I have chosen to be Indian, but there are lots of people who have chosen to be Portuguese. Yeah, but it's okay. It's the same people anyway. Yes, it's yeah. the same people. So for me, with the yoga um, world community, we don't really look at the first layer of the skin. <laughs> This is just okay. outer. After the skin, everything will be the same, from the muscles to the bone. That's why we also have anatomy class. We talk oh. about uh, anatomy, and then we also have um, uh, philosophy class, because okay. we have to study the or origin. That's why we have to respect the writer and the one who created this, which is actually Hindus. Okay. So we just really, really respect. You know, when once you're in that, Face, you, okay. you can still be Christian, okay? Religion yeah, yeah, cannot save yeah. you. It doesn't mean you're doing yoga. You're not going to be praying to Jesus Christ yeah, Yoga is not a religion. That's what they think. They yeah. think like if you're doing yoga, because with me, I don't really want to eat meat anymore. But it's just the process of my body. As you have the uh, vata, pita, okay. kapha. You're familiar with that. It's a food thing, okay. like the yeah. air. So with me, I'm pita kapha. Okay. I should really avoid meat oh. for me to process. So really. how did you discover? I will this, give you that yes. for the yoga therapy okay. if you have, if you yeah. have time. Yeah, so we sure. give that also. But usually it's the Ayurvedic, Ayurvedan people that okay. really has that. So we will give it to them. <laughs> We're just oh, okay. backing up uh, the, the Ayurvedic and the Ayurveda because we need them. Oh, okay. We need them because sometimes if you're high blood pressure, you have a problem, you're stressed, I don't know what your problem is, we help your body. 
only. But with the things that you're going to put in your body, you have to go to the, Ayur, the Ayurvedic uh, process. Because they will tell you, this is your problem, that's why you're this. And this is what you ask, la 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 la, la 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 la. You go through that process and it's going to be, it's just like in America and English. You cannot be healthy without exercise. And you cannot be healthy with just food. You know, you can have all the proper food in the world. And there you go, Uncle Rudy de la Cuesta. How are you? Uncle Rudy de la Cuesta is actually from uh, Athens. There you go. Sa Athens, no? Sa Athens in Greek. Athens. Good PM po. Mamard, kamusta na po kayo? Uncle Rudy is watching. And of course, Dave Tolentino. How are you? Would you like to do a yoga with me? I have something for you for your heart. And I have friends also that are suffering for different ailments. Okay. But I am a holistic uh, person. I am an uh, advocate for the alternative and holistic process because we've been using it for the hundred, hundred, hundred years ago. Why not change? Why do you change now? If you can do the process, a week, and back in the days, they lived so long, including my grand, 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 my great grandmother, she lived 120 years old. Oh, really? 120? Yes. 120, yes. And she's number. a woman. She's a grandmother of mine. Yeah, great. Gra great, great, great grandmother of my mom. 120. She had two coffins. She was cleaning it like the other one got, you know, wilted because it got broken. She's waiting <laughs> because she's still not dead. And then she waited. She wanted the white one and then they bought her the white one like a car. And then finally she just slept and she rested. But 120 is like two lifetimes. I know, and uh, she li lived by the beach. She, she eats only boiled food, doesn't do sugar, no anything stuff, just boiled. And then she plants her own food, which is really good. And her exercise, and it's funny because she smokes cigarette. Her cigarette is like uh, the one you put inside. Okay. Yeah. So again, guys, let me remind you that you guys are listening and watching. So travel wish list live po tayo ngayon. Ang oras natin ngayon is 4.37 ng hapon. At syempre, sana po uh, magstay kayo. I will be with you until 5.30 in the afternoon in the Philippines. The time here in the Philippines, <laughs> there pala, is 4.37 ng hapon. There you go. And again, uh, we are here with our uh, friend Brian. Brian Fernandez, he's the owner of Coastal Suites. And I'll give you the exact address. Please give the exact address to them. So the address now is in, this is South Goa. South Goa. So it's very close to the famous Colva mm. Beach. Colva, Colva. Yeah. Yes. Very close to Colva Beach. Yes. Although we have another two beaches, uh, which is very close, which is yes. called the Benaulim Beach and the Ternabatim Beach. Yes. But basically, Coastal Suites is in, in Colva. Yes. But of course, our website is coastalsweetsgoa.com all go. the details are on coastalsweetsgoa.com yeah so go to www.coastalsweets.com actually coastalsweetsgoa.com yeah would you like to give your number yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so my mobile number is uh, plus 91 that's the india code yes 99601 Six 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 zero six. There you go. Again, please repeat yes, your number. Plus nine one, the India code. Yes. And nine nine six zero one six 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 zero six. That's my go. number. Okay, let me repeat the number. The number of our uh, owner. <laughs> Give you the number. For all of you who wants to stay here in Coastal Suites, it's really nice. It's a service department. You also have a studio room. That's what I have. That's I have have a studio room and I love it with the hot water and the Wi-Fi. That's why I'm do I'm bringing you this. Thank you for Coastal with this show. Woohoo! Thank you. <laughs> and the time is 4.38 in the afternoon. I will still be with you until 5.30 in the afternoon. We have a lot of time to enjoy and you guys are listening and watching live the live tayo. Thank you very much. Angle Balagtas, where are you right now? Si Alex Tupasho, maraming maraming salamat po. For those of you who are interested, please go to www.coastalsweetgoa.com. There you go. Sound sounds muna tayo. It's a beautiful, beautiful September 22. You know, back in the Philippines, if it's already Burr, September, it's okay. already Christmas. Do you guys celebrate Christmas here? Yes. Christmas, oh, you celebrate Christmas, Christmas is a big, big function, you know? Here in yes. uh, Goa? Yes. Wow. Christmas is big. 
We have lots of Christmas parties for kids. Wow, in nice. In fact, nice. I, I make a part of a club called Club Harmonia in Margao. Oh, in Margao. And, yes, in Margao. It's a, it's a community club. So do you also put a lot of decorations? Not, this, not this building is completely new. So the it's going to be the first time I'm going to put wow. some decorations this side. And this yeah. side was old. But Please you send know. me pictures so I can also uh, yeah, show so the people. Yeah, so it's going to be like first Christmas in Coastal Suites. Wow. We're totally complete. We are happy for you and your Thank family. You. And uh, I really hope we can also share the enjoyment. And you told me that February, there's a lot of Europeans that comes here. Yes, so what happens is it starts getting cold in Europe by around December, ah. January, and February. So they come so here. a lot of Europeans sunbathing on the beach. Ah, that's why we have extensions. Yes, and extending. now I have an extension They all want to be in the sun. sun. <laughs> yes, that's the sun deck. Can you see all the sun deck? Yes, yes. Yes, so that's what... That's what Place is meant for so most of the Europeans come you know, here. I think they would love also the 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 drop yoga that I was telling you because it will be the first time that you will have that. And yes, because yes. Because you will be but, working yeah. closely with them. So you know, the, if there are yoga people watching, because I know nothing of yoga, but if there who are people who, yes, whoever is interested, they would love it. They yes, would to love volunteer it. to do drop yoga mm. to the guests over here. Most of them are welcome to do it uh, to do the drop yoga. I'm sure the It's the called Karma, is, Karma uh, Yoga if we do it for free. Yeah. It's called Karma Yoga. Anything that you do for, for just because you're not expecting anything, it's a good Karma Yoga for us. Yeah, but it's, yeah. it's yeah. still yoga. Yeah, so people can do it for yeah. uh, for the for the people around here. I'm sure some of them will enjoy it and might even join that too. So. Yes, 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 that's right. And uh, please tell us more about uh, the, the place that you want to uh, extend because I see you also build something up there that is also good for you know the sun bathing yes so so there's a deck that I'm building on top wow. which, which is a, right up on the terrace yes yes one side is the solar heaters you know yes. the, all the water that you're having hot water that you spoke I love about. the hot water so that's all solar heater that's not working on electricity wow, yay! That's yes. solar. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, that's solar. So that's the solar panels up there. Nice, nice. Yes. And Very good. Yeah. And and the other side is gonna be the sunbathing deck and there are gonna be sun beds on the on the Ooh. place. So that's where you're gonna put all the yoga mats. Yeah, you, you, yeah, that's like a private place. You like to you like to sunbathe in a little bit of privacy nice. or you like to do your own yoga up there. You can just take the lift up to the third floor. And there is a elevator here, you guys, if you're so spoiled. I'd like to say hi to Miss Eva Pareño. Thank you very much for uh, sharing the eight limbs of yoga. And uh, we, are, we have also Engel Balagtas. He's from Saskatchewan, Canada. Canada! Yeah, we're, uh, people, we have friends from Japan, uh, China, Saskatchewan, Canada, uh, US, Saudi. And see, Uncle Rudy de la, de la Cuesta is from Athens, Greece. How are you there in Athens, Greece? Oh. Uh, yeah. So, um, how do you find the, the tourists that are coming here in uh, your place? Of it, course, nice. Yes, <laughs> yeah, they have to be nice, of course, of yes. Of course. Yeah, but th was there any, like, you know, this is just a friendly conversation. Was there any problem that, you know, you, like, sometimes in business, it's not always perfect. That's why we have yoga. <laughs> yeah, so, no, you, you normally start with the nice things, and I'll tell you the bad parts a okay. little later. Yeah. Yes, yes. So the good, th good part is, yeah, we have a lot of senior English, Canadian, yes. American, European tourists, European tourists yes. that come here. They come and they just want to relax up on their beds yes. and they're so pleasant, you know, there's, there's no problem at all. They have their apartment, you just get them comfortable on the first day and they know their kitchen, they know their shopping around the place. There's a supermarket just across the road yes. so you can buy your stuff and you can cook yeah, for yourself. Yeah, you can cook for yourself. It's really so nice. pleasant and so nice. Yes. So it's, it, and, and for me and for my other staff. Yes, your staff is amazing. Yes. Yeah, thank very you. respectful, very, always smiling, even if they're wet. Like, yes, 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 they don't understand me, but yes, yes, yes. They, <laughs> yeah. they got wet in the rain. They will go under and over just to give you what you want. And it, we are really appreciative of that. Thank you, thank you. And then so yeah. what happened? Yes, yeah. so, so uh, it's a pleasure to deal with, with so, so many English people. And you, and our staff and us, we meet, and there are so many new experiences, so many new stories that we hear every time from different people and what happens in their countries, etc. So it's, it's been a pleasurable, nice to 
one year of that building, or the one you see behind. This one is the this, first building. Yes, that's wow. about two years so old now. This is where I'm staying, the new building. This is the new building ah, in it's very nice. opposite us, and the swimming pool is done one year old. So, ah, it's yes, very so. clean. It smells so good. I love. Actually, it's not that deep, but I love it because yes. sometimes when you want to be tired, you just want to float, and you yes. don't really want to be like <laughs> drowning. So it's yes. very safe for children. That's right. Yeah. So now the, the other side. So we have we have one very important rule in in coastal suites. 9 p.m. to around 8 a.m. are quiet hours. It's it's up on bookings.com. It's on our website. Everyone it's everywhere. A quiet, it's, a, it's a quiet time, so you gotta keep yourself silent. You can make noise in your apartment, etc. So that's one thing we make clear. So the issues and problems. The only issues and problems we have when we have. All boys like me who come together, uh, six or seven of them. Is that really how it is? Because I always see here in Goa, uh, because it's not being, well, yeah, we do that in the Philippines, but like girls night out, boys night out. So yes. you have that. We have that. So sometimes. That like every a, week or? No, that we have already, we don't allow that. Ah. We don't allow it. It's already on, on all our websites, on ah. bookings.com. It's everywhere. Hen and stag parties will not be entertained. Ah, so sometimes, like stag parties. Yes, like stag parties will but not be sometimes entertained. you can't say no to It's only this. in the off season, then there's nobody that you can do that. Ah, because if there are other people that. Yeah, then everybody gets disturbed. So we, yeah, we try yeah. our best not to allow yeah. such a thing to happen. But sometimes, you know, there's somebody who defies the rule. So that's yeah. the only problem that we have. But, but I'm pretty sure um, prior to them doing it, they ask permission. They do. They, some of them are decent enough to do, and we. But sometimes they don't care. Uh, sometimes they don't care. Sometimes <laughs> they just come, you know. Right. So, well, because it's. It, it, but I mean, to be fair with the other people, your place is really a relaxing. Yet it's a party scene. <laughs> the setup here is like we're in, like you know, on the strip of Las Vegas. I actually find when I first came here, when Belanco, the marketing of Imoksha, yes, brought me here, Belanco. and um, I, I, I really, really, because I used to work in Riyadh, and the entrance looks like the, the apartment where I'm actually staying in Riyadh. It was like, oh, wow, alhamdulillah, I'm like seeing Arabic and everything, and including the rooms and the tiles, it's very nice. And it's very Thank clean you. and including those black marble things. I'm really intrigued with details because you will see yeah, those, who those, owns it. Those marble things that you see, they're blue in color. Yes, it I is. I tried to copy something of the Portuguese that is called, in Portuguese it's called azulejo. Ah. So Portuguese used to paint blue color paintings on ceramic that they call it azulejo. So those tiles that I have at Coastal Suites, Every room has the little bit of a yes, in them, you know? very nice. It's very nice and it's amazing because uh, all the intricate things are really um, taken care of and it's Thank nice. You, yeah. Yes, and would you like to share again the exact location of this place and your... Yes, uh, so the location of my place is, is South South Goa yes. in a very close to a beach called Kolva Beach. Kolva Beach. Kolva Beach is very, very famous. Mm -hmm. But of course, we have two other beaches, which is the Benaulim Beach and we have the Sernabatim Beach, which is close by. It's walking distance. It's just 10 minutes walk. Yeah, and but but everything is on the website, the exact location. Yeah. Coast www.coastalsuitesgoa.com. There you go. And his number, Brian Fernandez's number is plus nine one because that's in India. It's uh, nine nine six zero one six 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 zero six. Yes. Nanonood live po tayo sa radyo Sa DZME 1530-1530 Una sa kanan Ang hindi lang may Paninindigan ito pong babaeng dragon For the dragonessa Para sa chow wishlist I'll be with you until 5.30 in the afternoon Ang oras natin ngayon sa Pilipinas Is 4.48 It's September 22 It's a beautiful beautiful Sunday Easy breezy Sunday and we are with our uh, friend, the owner of Coastal Suites, where I am staying. And for our, all of you uh, out there, we're going to give you uh, the bits and uh, places that you can go here in Goa while you're staying here in Coastal Suites. So tell me, what's the best, best, best place that you can re uh, recommend where to go? Like You told me about uh, Margao. I yes. am interested to go there. Yes. Go so Margao there. is the market. What can you buy in Margao? Like all yeah. the spices, what yes. else? You can, you, can, you can buy so many things. It's like a real local market. You can Ooh. buy spices, you can... Clothes! Yeah, clothes. You can get clothes and, and it's really cheap clothes. 
Yes, you can. What can like, you say about Indian clothing here yes. in Margao? Yes, you can get. There are, there's, there's a market which is like a cloth market. So you can buy so, yes. really nice. so you can buy saris. Ooh, saris, you know, I Indians like to wear saris. What about so. silvers? Because my friend Victoria yes. gave me this. Uh, I'm showing you. And for all of you who are listening to the radio, you can go to live at the Facebook later. Just post and check the ZME 1530 on live for Facebook or YouTube live. So I'm showing <laughs> here. My friend Victoria gave me a silver. There's a lot of silver stuff and it's really nice. Yes, yeah, so, so you get I be a lot of stuff. Yes, yeah, so you get a lot of silver. So when you say cheap, this is really like haggable. Like they have certain price. Yes. I am so good at haggling yeah. because I have traveled so many times. So if I say 100, what would you say? If you say 100, I will go half right away <laughs> until we go in meeting in the middle oh, okay yeah that's because good, you, that's they will always this is so funny every time you go shopping here in uh in the, in the places and then they don't have a price that's why whenever i go shopping with food and everything because i don't want to haggle with food because i know you yeah. grow it and everything yeah. i would go to a grocery where there's already a price yeah like uh for example this milk will cost this one so i don't oh, like, can you give this food <laughs> like no no but the good thing is when you go to a market it's a haggable and it's so nice and yes. then it's so funny every time they ask me that's why sometimes they don't call me anymore <laughs> but I go out with my friends they're Europeans and then like different color skin and then come on mom come on mom and then we're gonna go inside and then they ask me okay and then I will ask how much is that they will tell me uh, 350 madam they're gonna call me and then I'm gonna say no thank you and then okay how much your price I'm like 50 no <laughs> I really go low, but I go half, and then until I really meet them, I'm not going to be cheap because I want to also help to be a tourist here, but I won't be, you know, ripped off because, ah, the good thing, I have a tip also for all of you who are travelers like me, you always go to Amazon dot something, like here I check on Amazon dot India, yes. so I Amazon. really, yeah, yeah, and then I really have a price already in mind. So anything that you want to buy, like say uh, you want to buy yoga clothes, outfits, or uh, jewelries, or stones, okay? And then you check it, the real thing, okay? So yes. there will be a proper price for that. Let's say it will be only 100 rupees. And then when you go to the actual shop, they will probably try to sell it for you for 500 rupees. Mm. It depends with you, but you stick to at least the original price but you also have to think you know because these people are also you know working and this you know 150 compared to 100 or 120 130 is not really bad yes, but that's a fantastic way of actually getting a price mark which is fair for everyone fair for you and fair for the people because also you have to think that um, they're buying it um, my friend is from Goa and she's also from Bombay now okay. and she was telling me like how hard is it is also to bring stuff from Bombay or Delhi to like Goa so you also have to give them you know the business people that they brought it there they bought it there yeah. so you also have to add, add at least yeah. and, and the fact that you're getting a right across the table yeah and it's already there because uh, the, 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 the price on let's say Amazon.India would be 100 but you also have to pay the shipping and the handling, right? Yes, yes, there is, yes. there is. Sometimes, yes. Sometimes, Sometimes yes. yes. If it's near Goa, no more. It's free sh shipping. Yes. But if you're getting it from another place in India, let's say uh, Rishikesh, yeah. you're going to get this uh, Himalayan salt, whatever. You still have to ship it. That's right. Yeah, yes. so you still have to pay for that. So you have to think about that. I'd like to say hi to Alicia Valesteros, which is always talking about the beautiful uh, language. She said here, biryani garam masala. Are you familiar with the biryani garam masala? Yeah, garam masala is used in almost, it's like a spicy masala used in almost every Indian dish. She that's said what she gives loves the spice it. And the flavor. Yes. yes. Say so hi to Alicia hi, Alicia. hi, Alicia. Hi, Alicia Valesteros. And she said that tondak, baji are delicious go and food. Ah, yeah, yeah. What is a tondak bhaji? No, I don't know. I, I know it's a bhaji. <laughs> bhaji is a mixture. Ah. Uh, I don't know what's tondak, maybe. Ah. But it must be one a kind of a vegetable, I'm sure. Yes, tondak. But you know, I have tasted yesterday because we went out for a dinner with our uh, with our masters because it was our graduation. Okay. Uh, for the three weeks that I was here, I only know paneer pakora. 
Pakora? Pakora? Pakora. Pa Pakora. And then yesterday, uh, one of our uh, masters, ma Master uh, Sachin, ordered Palak Pakora. Yes. Yeah, so oh my god, it's so good. Pakora is like batter fry. Yes, so ano, yeah. Ano, no, not Palak Pakora. Palak Paneer. I oh. love Palak <laughs> Paneer. <laughs> Guys, Paneer here is the cheese. Cheese. Yes. It's like feta cheese and it's so delicious. <laughs> the cheese here is the bomb. I don't know why. <laughs> it's re it, it reminds me of the feta cheese in Greek. So for the Greek people and I'm like Julie, hello Dr. Minal! Our Dr. Minal, uh, she is our uh, anatomy teacher. She's, uh, it's, she's from B B Yoga Vimoksha. Thank you very much. And uh, you are listening and watching live po tayo ngayon sa BZME 1530 1530. Una sa kanan ang impilang may paninindigan. Ito po ang babaeng Dragon, Marga Dragonesa. It's a beautiful, beautiful Sunday, September 22. We are here live sa Goa, India. And right here sa Coastal Suites. That's right. This is a serviced apartment and studio. I'm, I'm living here. I'm living my life. <laughs> and I would like to thank my friend here, Brian Fernandez. He's thank going. You. But we're still going to talk about uh, a lot of things, uh, including uh, your Coastal Suite. Again, guys, if you want to check the, uh, the place out, it's www.coastalsuitesgoa.com. There you go. It's another beautiful episode of Travel Wishlist. Kasama ang babaeng dragon. Dito lang yan sa DCME 1530-1530. Muna sa kanan ang himpilang may paninindigan. And we are going back, syempre, sa history. We're gonna talk about your history again. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yes, okay. So, um, to give you a little history, hello, Maria oh. Aseret, are you ready you for know, your math? You yeah. want to know how the place came up and all these things? Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so so this this little place used to be like a coconut plantation. <gasps> Wow. Yeah, little, little. It's just about 1,000 square meters. Thousand so this meters. is your family? You own yes, it. my father was here this morning. Yes, he I met, met your yes, So father. he used to run the coconut plantation here. Wow. Yes, nice. and, yeah. and if you actually t it ask me, I'm actually an IT background. So it's, it's I'll tell, talk about myself. Yes, yes, later. please do, please do. Yeah. We have all the time in the world. I, yes. I'm gonna, we're going to be here until... 5.30 in the afternoon and only the time is only 4.57. Yeah, so let yeah. me tell you about this part first. Yes, so, yes, please. Uh, so, so this used yes, to be this a coconut. Be a coconut plantation, so I decided that I'll sell a little piece of land yes. off the place. Okay. And I built the building that you see on the other side. This one? Yes, ah. and I said maybe I'll run it as an apartment hotel with just that building. Okay, okay. But it did so well, Ooh. it did so well that I actually built another one, another one right which here. is this one, which yes. is the same, it's the same place, it looks exactly the same, yes. but this is new, which yes. is really nice. And I built the swimming pool because everybody wanted a swimming pool. Yes, everyone wants your swimming yes. pool. And then Even I want your swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So then, then you remember that little piece of land I sold across yes, yes, the yes. road? I bought it back. <laughs> <laughs> good job, good job for you. Very you go. good. And then they sold it back to you. So this one, it's across. Yes, it's across the road. I'm uh, using it for parking because there's no more parking in here. So yeah. I'm using the piece of land that I sold. Yes. I bought it back for, for the just parking. parking. <laughs> just the parking. Yeah. Oh, great, great. And then I see that you're also extending a lot of uh, a yes. bigger place yes. here. So this really this little nice. gate leads to Benalin Beach. This and, one. Yeah, no? that one. There goes to supermarkets as well. Yes. That's the one that we see behind. And then we have a gate on the other side, which I'm actually doing up right now, which really actually nice. leads to Sernabatim Beach. It leads ah. to another different beach. So the, here is Sernabatim Beach, which is where I go walk every morning yes, to go to school, which is uh, the Yoga Vimoksha School. Yes. And then this one is? Benolim Beach. Benolim. Ben and where is the Kova? Kova is also this way. But it's, it's a, a long. It, it's a little, yes. It's, it's a little further than these two beaches. So that's about another kilometer. But yeah. tell me something about Kova because I heard from uh, Debbie, the European friend of ours who left from Glasgow. Okay. She said she was here and it's really nice in Kova, like parties and everything. What's up, what's up with the Kova party there? Uh, see, there's, there's not much of a very hardcore party scene. Yes. The north of Goa is more, deals more with discos and stuff. Ah, there for young people. For young people. Ah, no, no, not for me. Yeah, so this is more <laughs> relaxed. This yes, is more yes. family. Yes, oriented. Like 
quiet. Yes, and like, quiet. And of course, there is. There are pubs around the place. There are shacks at the beach with but music. But that place is really the... So guys, if you want to party and you really yeah. want to be tamasic, as we call it in our, in our yeah. yoga world, that is where you go. So The uh, north of Goa, that you live in Kandolim and there are places like Kalangu. So those are the places where you need to go if you really want to party hard. And then you, you no, make hard. noise at 9 o'clock and yes. yell at 12 o'clock. That would be hard. That's That's the place for you. Uh, this so, is more relaxed. So more. if you want to rest, you want to do yoga, and you really want to detox your body with all the stress in the world, this is the place where yes. you're going to go. But of course there are. There's a, there's a lovely place that has opened up recently. It's called the Firefly. Ah. Yes. It's and where is Pe that? It's where in a, it a restaurant called Pedrito by the Firefly. Oh, I think we were invited. Is that the one with the karaoke thing? Uh, yes, it has ah. a karaoke also. We were invited there yesterday with our friends that I was telling you. Oh, uh, okay. yeah, And then I lost her number, but I will try to yes, look for and her. And then there are other restaurants called the Farmhouse. They oh. have a lovely restaurant by the riverside. So they also have karaoke on, on such, I think, Thursdays, or Fridays, I guess, yeah, Fridays. Uh, yeah, so these are, there is a little bit of party also here, but yeah, limited party. Very, but you can also have weddings here, you can cater weddings, yes. birthdays. Yes. Can Come. you tell me something about the wedding in India? Why is it long? Do you have any okay. idea? There why? are two kinds of weddings. Now, there's yes. the Hindu wedding that I and, and the Catholic wedding that I'm, I know about. So yes, my yes. Catholic, I'll tell you about the Catholic wedding. Yes, first. please. So we have the mass that yeah. will happen at around say five o'clock. Yes. So to go in the mass, church. In the church. Yes. So the bride has to. I'm sure she has to dress up at two. And then yeah, this is with the white with one. The white dress. Yeah, and then the bride. Yes, yes, yes. That's, that's the one. And yes. where the father and the mother cry. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Yeah, and then and then after the mass, it's uh, party time. Yes, party time. So party starts at around eight o'clock. You can do it here also. Yeah, no, we we have big venues because party, because weddings in Goa are like five hundred people. <gasps> And, to and, and most people actually bring a band wow. to sing a uh, six piece band. So you're all going to feed them like yes. for the whole family? There's going to be a big buffet of food for everybody. So it's really expensive to get married in Go like if you're Indian, like all the in, whole... In Goan terms, I would say yes, it's expensive. But in but in the world terms, it's not expensive nice. at all. I think it's the cheapest wedding you can have is in Goa. It's in but, Goa. And yes, so it he, will be we are inviting you to get your wedding here. <laughs> yes, and, and it will be one of the... It, it, it's a, Many people have their destination weddings in Goa. Yes, 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 yes. I read it. I read about it. And then the good thing is you have all the marigold flowers. I think um, when I was uh, talking to my friend about... Uh, I think she had a wedding here like way, way back. But it was the flowers that... Brought her here. Yes. The garland. Some of the dream weddings I have seen in Goa, like you can get married by the beach. Yes. And you can have a gazebo facing the water, mm -hmm. and, you, and there's this whole setup, so flowers that you can do. And then they're just growing the flowers like that. And yes. So, yes. so that is a Christian wedding. That's a Christian. Do you have wedding. any idea on what the wedding of, uh, let's say, Hindu? Yes. My sister. Please share it. My sister is married to a Hindu. Okay. Okay. My sister is married to a. That looks so fun, though. How long yeah. is a Hindu wedding? The Hindu wedding can even go for days. I know, because yes. some of them they like one week and you're still in a wedding? How like how many people yes. are getting there? Just just two couples. And then like this is the wedding for this, this is gonna be the wedding yes. for so this. So they have something called a Sangeet, which is uh, held on a particular day, and then they have something called a Mendi. Mendi is when Mendi is Mendy. where all of those so that's day, it's just for Mendi. That day is for Mendi. I think it I so think what, it's just the a guy, girl's house. What about the guy? What, well, he's just, you know, it's my wedding, I don't care if No, days. no, he too has some function. Not too informed about what are the exact details, but he too has a lot of function. But the girl, of course, has a lot more function. More yeah. function. The Mendy, yeah. it's like, the Mendy is the henna. They're all giving each other, like, yes. uh, in, in, in the Western world, they call it a spa day. But it, in uh, Indian Hindu, is a uh, Mendy. You can see a lot of uh, drawings, yes. mandala, everything. That's right. Yeah. So they decorate themselves and... Yeah, and th that makes for two days and maybe wow. there's another function. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. And then? And then comes and com then comes the spiritual, the, the, the religious wedding oh, day. Oh yeah, it's, it's the ceremony. The actually. ceremony it's day. It's the real wedding. Yes, so then That's there are so wedding. many things like the Kanya Dan. What is that? Uh, those are... Like, tell me about your experience with your sister's wedding. Yes, yeah, so my sister's wedding, was the, the religious function was held in one little hall. 
but they have a little fire in front of them. Then there's they walk around the fire a couple of times. Not on the fire. Not on the fire. <laughs> on the side, the fire. Yeah. because yeah. it's gonna hurt you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. So it's supposed to have religious significance walking around the okay. fire. Um, I think just the, the couple or all of the people. No, just the couple. It's yeah. it's the boy who walks in front. Okay. Uh, and I think. No, I think it's the girl who walks in front and she has it tied to the boy, you know, the... Uh, a tie, like a red tie like this. Like I, a, a cloth is tied between the two of them. Oh, nice. They're okay. tied together with a cloth and both of them have to walk around the fire around seven times. So that means they have to be together because if the boy doesn't want to go, the girl can go. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Yes. And then? Yes. And, and then comes a lot of mantras or some religious yes, yes. prayers that are said by the Hindu priest yes, yes, who is also right. present at the function and then there are a lot of oils that are thrown in the water I don't know the details about the significance of that so that's like how for how many days already so that, that's that's like an hour or two of uh, function. Only, okay. yeah, so that's the religious function so what about and all that, those functions the food will always come in and come in yes the food is always coming wow. yes yeah, but I believe on that day that the religious function, it's pure veg. Just veg, uh, vegetables. vegetables, no no meat at yeah. all. Yes. But you're still, because I have a lot of Hindu friends, okay. they don't even consume paneer. They don't even consume bees anymore, like yes. honey. Yeah, so they have specific food that they can have on that particular religious just that function day. day. Yes. So maybe other people do not go there anymore because it's yes. just... No, that, the religious function is usually for very close family. Only. Not everybody is invited to the religious function. So every, every day, like other people, doesn't really have to go there every no day. and so that like function is week. also held at a very specific time that is di that will be given to you by the priest because so it's will the say, timing yes it's the timing he will get he will do some calculations and he will uh he will get a timing mm -hmm. so he will he might tell you that you need to get married at 12 o'clock and three minutes in the afternoon if not let's you're not <laughs> gonna get married forever <laughs> Hello, Victor Nines. Thank you very much for watching. Hi, Kuya Rene. Densha, how are you? Thank you very much for tuning in. Ang oras natin ngayon is 5.06 in the afternoon. I will be with you until 5.30. This is Margot Dragonesa. Para sa travel wish list, you're listening to DZME 1530. 15.30 una sa kanan. Ang himpilang may paninindigan. We have our guest today, Brian Fernandez of Coastal Suite. He is the owner and we are talking about... Goa, India. We are live here and yeah, share, share na po tayo. Again, going back. Yeah, let's go back. It's yes. just a little commercial. <laughs> we are also live on radio. We, this is the actual uh, show. So okay. thank you very much to my IT people and uh, uh, to my friends back there sa 18th floor sa Open MC. I miss you guys. I will b bring you a lot of curries. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so you get a lot of spicy curries. That's what people enjoy most in it's Goa. It's so good. It's so good. All the spices here are fresh. Yes, yes. They've grown up here or they're imported just around the state. You can just go up out there and get okra. You can just yes. pick okra, yeah. like the vegetables, and you just bring it there and cook yes, it. Yes, many, many things. Even chilies. We grow chilies around the place. Yeah. And my daughter goes cucumber sometimes, oh, a little bit of vegetables, nice. etc. Yeah. Nice. She has a beautiful, you have a, would just, can I call your daughter? Yeah, come here, you have it. My, you have two daughters. Here's one. Oh, Kate, come here. Come here, come here. I'll show you. Come first. She is so beautiful. Come here, come here. You. She's okay, so she'll come in a little while. Yeah, maybe. She's she's I got two daughters. One is Kate and one is Hannah. How old is your da daughter? Yeah, she's seven. Kate yeah, is seven. Please say hi to her. Please say hi to her. Kate. Hi, Kate. And Kate. then uh, please say hi to your wife as well. Hi, yeah. Uh, my wife is Joni. She must be Hello, Miss Joni. How are you? I know you're watching this. Kate. <laughs> it's yeah. okay. And then, please tell me continue on the wedding. So they have the actual wedding. And then? Yes. So then that's the religious function. Usually, sometimes they have the, the big function on the same day. That's like the reception. Ah, so they also have dinner for the whole day. Yeah, so that's when the reception is when everybody is invited. Wow. It's the big function. And that's a big stage. So that's what happened to your sister? That's what happened to the sister. So there'll be a stage. So your sister is Catholic and then he got married to Hindu. Yes. So he converted, is that it? No, nobody has to convert. Oh wow. Nobody it's just the ceremony it's, that yeah, you want. Yeah. Conversion is by decision, you know, if you oh. if you but decide. But I've heard to. they're very strict like that here in India because um, uh, they really want to be, for example, your Hindu and then your family wants to uh, have a Hindu wife for you. So yes, is it really like yes, that? See, everybody, every Catholic wants to have a Catholic wife, and every definitely. Hindu wants to have a, a 
Hindu wives. So, so it's always like that all over yes, the world. But, but then there are lots of intermarriages as well here in so Goa. So that's because, what you call it, intermarriages. Yeah, intermarriages. And in a, so it depends with the couple. Yes, and in, in Goa, everybody lives in a secular, secular, uh, secular manner, you know. Like what, harmonious. Yes, harmonious. So Very you good. end up marrying people who are other religion. Yes, because it's not the religion that you're marrying, yeah. it's actually and then the I've person. Seen, yes, it's the person. And then I've seen many cases where some convert, yeah. some don't convert. Like in my sister's case, she's Catholic and he's Hindu still day. But they still love each other. Yeah, they do. Doesn't matter. That is really good. That is actually the concept of yeah. unity. Would you like to join us, baby? Come, kid. Don't be so come. shy now. Come on. We will show how beautiful the the, the daughter yeah, is. Yeah, it's on TV. Yeah, it's it's gonna be on. Uh, so, oh, look at her! Come here, come here. Stay here, stay here. Yeah. Say hi. What's your name? Kate. Kate. Lovely. Say hi to the Philippine Island. Look at how beautiful. And I wish I can see your uh, mama also. Please say hi to them. Hi. Hi. How old are you? Eight. Eight. Please invite them. Please come to Coastal Suites. Yeah. Let's go. Please. Um, there you go. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was your daughter. She's so beautiful. And I thought they're Americans actually. I thought you had an American wife. So that is a good thing here. That's what well, actually is a, a, a cool uh, unity of everyone because there's no judgment. You know, just like in yoga, no judging. No, there is no right and there is no wrong because. Uh, uh, politics, religion, they cannot save you, you know. You That's can... right. I, I believe that everybody would actually live securely, not for politics. It's only yes. politics that makes the division. Because I think it's the power. Yeah. It's, it's the control. It's the divide and rule story. But True. otherwise, I don't think a Hindu would hate a Catholic nor a Muslim yes, yes. for the sake of the religion, but you know. Yeah, but here I see a lot of um, Muslims that I also see them and they're, yes, they're, they're respecting sister. the Muslim and the Hindus together. Like yesterday, our marketing and camera woman is a uh, Muslim and she was crying because it was a Hindu uh, ceremony and because we were so like so intimate and we're Christians and everyone is being gathering around. That's it's so nice. nice. Yeah. Guys, you're listening and watching Ang Oras Natin sa Pilipinas. It's 5.11 in the afternoon. You're still watching and listening live. Siyempre tayo sa radyo sa DZME 1530 1530 Kung sa kanan, ang hindi lang may panigigil. Kayo po'y nakikinig at nanonood sa Babayang Dragon. Margot Dragonesa. Para sa travel wishlist. And our friend here, our very special guest, Mr. Brian Fernandez is from Coastal Suites here in Goa, and yeah, we're also going to talk and still talking about religions and history and what can you see here. Yeah. Yeah, Speaking so, of what you can yeah, you see, what can you see? So what that, can you see that, here? There are so if many... you're staying here, yes. how long will uh, I go if I want to go to, let's say, have a picture in a Hindu place? Yeah, so, so let, me, let me tell you about some of the things you can see around. Around so, here? Yeah, around. So, yes. you know, like I already spoke about the beaches the are beach, walking distance. Yes, yes. But other than the beaches, the rest of the things you need to have a little scooter. Oh, you need to be. Yes. So, you know, travel around here is usually done by you rent a scooter for just 300 rupees a day. Oh, that's, or walking or yes, bike. That's about $5 a day. Oh, wow. So, you get a scooter for $5 a day and then you fill your fuel. And then you zip around the place with your GPS, oh. and you can see you can see churches like the Basilica Church. I've been to the Church of Savior. Yeah, Saint uh, Saint Francis Saint, Savior. Saint Francis, and his body is there. His body is there, for lying is... un un. Can you tell me about uh, who is a yeah. Savior? So, yes. Yeah, so Saint Francis Savior was a, a missionary priest oh. who came to Goa. He was not a Goan. He came to Goa. Is he Portuguese? No, he's not Portuguese, but I, but he, I will tell you from where he is yes. in a little moment. So he came to Goa to do his missionary work, yes. and then he traveled elsewhere. But mm. then I think he chose to be buried in Goa when he died. Okay. But the miracle is, oh. when he died, uh -huh. he did such he did such good work that his body lies undecomposed. I know. Yes, in his coffin. Still. For, for more than 100 years still, now. It's still. It's you can still there. see the I body. Saw it. I saw it there. Yes, you can see it. the body. It's not decomposed. The, the body is how long? It's over 100 years. I over 100 years and his body is still it's, there. It's you can still see it's still. It's like almost mummy. But it's not mummified. It's not mummified. It's actual. Looks, it looks fresh. It looks real. Yes. I'd like to say hi to Gloria 
Villanueva Acedo. Yeah, and thank you very much for tuning in. You're listening to me, watching. So DZ Me 1530-1530. Una sa kanan ng ibilang mind, paninindigan ako po si Marco Dragonesa. Kasama natin ngayon si Brian Fernandez ng Coastal Suites of Goa, India. So we're talking about uh, St. Francis, Francis. So wow. So St. Francis Xavier's body at the moment, you must have seen it at a slight height. I have a picture. Yes, it's, it's, high, it's there. high there. Yes. But once in 10 years, there's something called an exposition. What is that? Exposition is when his body is brought down okay. to ground level, at your level. Okay. And you can see his body down there, next to you. Ooh, but when I went there, it was high. Yes, yeah. because this is not the exposition year. Oh, there so is. So you need to come. When? Uh, I, I, you can check on the internet. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've been for all the expositions. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know which is the last one, but if you if you look and they will put it down, so you can have a picture. You can have a picture, wow. or you can you can uh, see, see the body, the actual, actual body. body. Like we can see it actually. You can, we can see his whole body. You can yes, but at a height. Here you can see it right in front of you, wow. at, at a meter away from you. So it's called exposition. I should come back yes, here on the, the exposition. The exposition of Saint Francis Xavier yes. is an eventful year. You need to come to Goa during that year. Mm. You can actually see the body right in front wow. of you. In front of that church is another church, right, or museum? Yes, there is. All, there are two churches there. One yes. is called the Basilica de Bon Jesus. That's one. And That's one what? is called the Cathedral. The, the Cathedral, cathedral yes, actually. Yes, yes. What the, do you call that cathedral? The Say Cathedral. Yes. It's really big. Yeah. Yes, and they also have a very beautiful museum there. A oh, lot of things that you can actually see and touch. Wow. Yes. So it's not just for Buddhist people. There's really a Catholic church here, like all of the uh, churches, the basilicas, yes. the cathedral. You can have pictures because they thought when you go to India, oh, it's all just going to be like, well, India, Taj Mahal. Uh, like, it's not just Taj Mahal, okay? There's a lot of places that you can see. What do you also recommend if we're staying here? Yeah, so, so the Spice Farm, the place I've that you've been seen to, spice to the Spice Farm, farm is so good and it's really nice. Yes, so that's along the same direction, so it's really nice to see the Spice, spice, the spice farm. farm. But also now, once you've seen the Catholic Church, yes. very close are two temples. I've never been there. Yes, one is there. called the Mangeshi Temple. Mangeshi, and what do you Shanta mean by Durga Mangeshi? Temple. No, I'm not sure about the details of, of the Hindu But religion. that's what you call it, Mangeshi? Yes. The temple is called, like how we call it, say cathedral, they call it the Mangeshi temple. Ah, okay. And there's another temple called the uh, Mangeshi and the, there's another one very close to that. But it's just the same Buddhist or... No, uh, it's a Hindu temple. Hindu temple. Yes. Ah. So that those are two beautiful places to visit. And, and are we allowed to take pictures And it's there? a Shanta Durga temple, yes. I ah, the Shanta Durga. I love Durga. Shanta Durga <laughs> temple, yes. So uh, those two temples are also very close by it on, on the same route. Yeah. So you can see those temples and there's so much to see. Of Is the that this, uh, near Pondi? No. Yes, near Pond Ponda. Near Pond Ponda, sorry. Ponda. Ponda. So all of these three things are in Ponda. The wow. churches of Old Goa, the temples and the spice farm they're all there they're all there actually um the only thing that we skipped is is just the hindu because it was really almost night time so we need to here's it time to take the little bike and zoom up there but my problem is when i drive dikopo here in india it's different from the philippines because in the philippines you drive on your left okay so the car is on the left yeah. and then of course definitely when you're on the left you drive on your right Right? Okay, yes. Or left. Yes. So, I this don't know. side, we drive on the left side of the road. Left side of the road, but you drive, your actual driver is on the right side. So okay, so basically what you're talking about, you're talking about you drive like they drive in Europe. Yes, exactly. Okay, so and we be... drive like they drive in the United Kingdom. I've never driven in Saudi. Now you, can, you are Not allowed really. to, to drive okay. in Saudi. The before. United Kingdom drives like same. us, ah. the same. But Europe drives like you all. Uh, I will be, if I will drive even the motorcycle, I will be opposing and I will be mad. <laughs> yes, so, I did that in the United States when yeah, I yeah. made a family trip to the US, oh, United no. States. And you drove. And I had an international driving license and the first time I took the car out, I took it on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing that you didn't get a problem. Hi, Dansky Altamirano. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, Dansky Altamirano, she also uh, has a... Uh, show in uh, Canada Babe. Yeah. Alicia, 
And, uh, oh, oh, yes. I would like to say hi to Girly Agacer. How are you? Bumili ka na ba ng mat? Nako, Girly, I have something for you for your yoga. I'm gonna give you a yoga hot towel just for you, Girly. <laughs> Girly Agacer is one of our distributor in the Philippines because we also, I also have a company there. But if this is just for, uh, for the business side. <laughs> we always have the business side. And but the, the good thing is like, when we go together and enjoy what you want and you really be passionate on what you do, everything comes really beautifully because that's what you want. Yes. How can you advise other uh, fellow businessmen like you to really follow through? Because it's very risky on what you did. Yes, so what, what I, I also have a computer business, you know. Please so, tell us yeah. something about yourself now, yeah, as so, a personal. Yes, yeah, so me, I am a com I'm an electronics and telecom engineer. Oh. And I am a Cisco and Microsoft. Cisco! Yeah, a, we use Cisco in American Express. That's right. I used to work so there. although I run this hotel, yes, yes. I am a Cisco, a CCNA, and oh. a CCNA. So that's your real job. P trainer. I'm so, a trainer. A trainer? Yes. Oh. So I have a training school, it's called IP Gates. Is it here in the in Yes, Go, it's right in the city. The website is ipgates.com. Okay, okay. And we do training courses for CCNA, oh, MCSE, CCNT. For all the graduates that want to share. For all the graduates share. that yeah. come out from school. And especially now for the business, it's very important when you have, that's your edge. Because yes. if you're into the, yes. like now we have, we are broadcasting through Facebook, but we are live on radio. So exactly what the yes, job is. Nice, yes, and all this time I used to do something called boot camp courses. It was like your, uh, like your drop yoga. Yes. It's something like the drop yoga. I used to do personal it a personal ID course just for you. Very good. And you can learn CCNA. Or so you can school. enroll there. Yes, in 10 days we finish wow. everything. We'll, we'll train you, we'll certify you. And my institute is an uh, authorized Please exam and center. And invite our friends from Goa, India, yeah. wherever. Yeah, so it's called IP Gates. I'm an authorized Cisco and a Microsoft exam center. So if you do the course with me and you can answer exams with me, you can get certified by right. Cisco and Microsoft directly. By Cisco. Cisco and Cisco. Microsoft. Yes. Oh, I think you I want to do that. <laughs> Let's shall do it. Shall we do that? <laughs> I'd like to say hi to uh, Dansky Altamirano. She has a show. She's in Italy, and she's watching right now. Please say hi to Dansky Altamirano. Hi Dansky, nice to see you online. Yeah, but Alicia Balisteros, ano ba pinagsasabi mo dyan? Bakla, you guys are listening. Live tayo ngayon. Our time is 5.21 in the afternoon in the Philippines. And you are listening live here in India, Goa, live in Coastal Suites. <coughs> sa TZME 1530, 15.30, una sa kala ng himpilang may paninitigan ako po. Ang babaeng dragon, Marky Dragonesa. I will still be with you until 5.30 in the afternoon. So tell us more about yourself. Yeah, so so that's that's what I did for a good eight years. I in the first four years I used to train myself, then I trained trainers. Now there are so many trainers who train themselves. Yeah, and, and you're still continuing this. Yes, the school is still going on, but now I have dedicated my time towards building coastal yeah. suites. So you kind of like it's still doing. Yes, so that's that's like a school that was there and it's already set now. So. It's, it's known worldwide because we have so many students from the United Kingdom who have already done courses with us and many come back okay. to do the courses. Now we do training courses for the schools and colleges, graduates around the place. Great, great, great. So they can do the CCNA, the MCSE course. What is CCNA? So CCNA stands for Cisco Certified Network Associate. There you go. Yes. I Guys, don't worry because all the things that we talked about here, including the www.coastal.com, uh, coastal suite goa.com I will include all the information I will just have to gather all the information I will include this uh, all the information up in the post where you can watch the ZME live on Facebook and I will also update and try if we can update it in YouTube because in YouTube we usually have problems with those things because they're very strict there but with Facebook it's really nice with us <laughs> because all you have to do is just you know give them uh, uh, those information and don't worry so if you want that uh, okay Alicia Valesteros Cisco Cisco is letter C I S C O it is actually can you please explain Cisco, Cisco is, is the company I, I believe it comes from San Francisco uh, so the company has its headquarters in San, San Francisco, Francisco right. so Cisco is like Microsoft it's like a, yes. yes it deals with wide area networks yes. it's 
via data communications, etc. That's right. So in other countries, well, if you're from the Philippines, it's like the smart and the globe, but it's uh, Cisco is very international. It's a very widely uh, used. When I used to work in Hinduja, or uh, Hinduja, it's an American Express, but it's an Indian company in the Philippines, we always use Cisco. Okay. Everything is Cisco, because if it's international, it has to be Cisco. Okay. Yeah, That's so... Great. And more about yourself, please. Yeah, so then, then uh, I did that. And while that was going on, I decided to start Coastal Suites. And you know, I your parents to... should be proud of you. <laughs> yes, you. and I see them, they are so supportive and everything. And everything here, to be fair, is really good. Yes, that's Very nice. nice. And now, now I'm extending the place to have a little children's park. Ah, oh, good. Yes, yes, you told me about yes. the park. Yes, very good. So, coastal, For them to there play around. So many kids who come to Coastal Suites. And then they want to have a little swing and a little slide. So just this evening, you met Mr. Albert who was just yes, here. Yes, he was there. So Mr. Albert, let me show you Mr. Albert. Oh, has, Mr. Albert is the one that we yeah, were talking Yeah, Mr. Albert to. has just given me this little book over oh, wow. here. And he's that gonna, is so nice. He's, he's given me all. Is that his book? Yes, this is Mr. Albert. These are book. like toys or like a, yeah, a playground. So Albert Those has a company really called nice. Arihant, you know. Oh, hi, Mr. Albert. I hope you're watching this. Yeah, I hope so you post Albert's this on company your Facebook. Is Hunt, <laughs> and he has all these children wow, play areas. It's so awesome. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna have one of these. At you should get a uh, sand because you know, guys, I like the beach here, especially here in the sand. Like when you play in the sand, it's white sand. It's really beautiful. Yes, sand is also a nice idea. But Mr. Albert, he he has a new product which is like soft. Uh, like a soft surface, okay, which is like a carpet. Ah, yes. so, so the children will don't get hurt with yeah, it. True, and you true, know true. what happens is the sand sometimes moves into the swimming pool; it gets a little messy. So that's so much better, he says. That's right. That's right. Ah, he uh, Dansky Altamirano says thank you, uh, sir. <laughs> Say hi to Dansky. She's from Italy. Hi, Dansky. Yeah. Hi. Okay, so Alicia Villesteras, uh, yes, oh, oh. Meron siyang, uh, he's, she's asking if you're uh, single. No, she, he's not single, guys. <laughs> he is married with two beautiful uh, uh, daughter, and the wife is really beautiful. She looks like American. Well, wow, you have pants now. I'm asking <laughs> okay. if you're single. Sorry, guys, he's not single. Guys, you're listening and watching live po tayo ngayon. September 22, the time is 5.26 in the afternoon. And thank you very much for listening and watching. Our friend here, Brian Fernandez, is from Coastal Suites. He is the owner of the beautiful www.coastalsuitesgoa.com. And it's also time to say, give all your numbers and we will say goodbye and thank you please say goodbye to them goodbye thanks for please, listening please give them your number okay so the website i'll give you the website yes, first the website is www.coastalsuitesgoa c-o-a-s-t-a-l-s-u-i-t-e-s-g-o-a -E -E coastalsuitesgoa.com mm. and my phone number is plus nine one Nine nine six zero one six 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 zero six. There you go. And again, guys, don't forget if you're here in uh, Goa, India. I don't know where am I. <laughs> I'm always somewhere. <laughs> we are here in Goa, India. If you're here, please check this place out. It's really nice. It's like home away from home. And it's I have been staying here for almost going to be a month now. I yes, was here so three weeks ago, and then I still have another week. I will be leaving. Yeah, but that certifies you to be going now. I am going, <laughs> yay! And I will be coming back here with my mom, and this is the same exact place that I want to go. Uh, Dax Kielta Merano, shout out to Pulang Araw Movement, Lipa City. How are you to all the Lipa and uh, Lipayan? Jenilyn Lareto Miranda, by Ingat Mam Idol. Thank you very much. Guys, don't forget. Uh, check out Coastal Suites at www.coastalsuitesgoa.com here in Sernabatim, Benalim Beach in, uh, in Coba, here in uh, Goa, India. You can check Brian Fernandez out at plus 919-9960-166666. That's right. And thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Ang oras natin ngayon is 5.28 ng hapon at maraming, 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 maraming salamat. That means thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for tuning in and being my guest. Namaste as thank we you, say. Thank you. thank you very much. It was a pleasure, pleasure, pleasure interviewing you and all the information that we gathered from you. Pleasure being on your show. Thank you, thank you very much. You can check it out here on Facebook. You 
can share it, you can use it, you can even uh, put it on your site, you are free to do so. If you want, I can give you a copy of this and uh, you can use it. Yes, but I will be uh, requiring you to do the, the this show because you will see all the viewers and all the people that will be really talking to you. And if you are interested to come here and stay here, please do check out all the links below that I will put in here. And again, it's September 22, another beautiful episode of our travel wish list. This has been your host, Margot Dragonesa. Para sa DZME 1530 una sa kanan ang impilang may paninindigan. Ako po si Margot Dragonesa para sa travel wish list. Namaste! Thank you! And yes, I am human.